Everyman Driver Nation, welcome back to What's the Difference? I am Professor Dave. Class is in session today. We are taking a closer look at a pair of three-row family minivans, the 2018 Honda Odyssey and the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica. If you're new to this series, what we're doing here is breaking down the vehicles based on numbers alone. Not a review, not a technology update, not a ride and handling assessment. Simply telling a story, painting a picture with the numbers that we find between two particular vehicles. If you have a suggestion on a pair of vehicles you want compared, leave it in the comment section below. Let's talk about the Honda Odyssey. This really came out in 1994. This is the fifth generation Honda Odyssey. It comes in six trim levels. The Pacifica, the nameplate first came out in 1999 as a concept vehicle, and many people know it now as the Pacifica from 2017 to the present. Both are front wheel drive, no all wheel drive available. There is one big difference with the engines. We're only gonna talk about the gas engines. The Pacifica does offer a hybrid, the Odyssey does not. So we're gonna to stick to just the engines right now and we're gonna focus on the elite trim level on the Odyssey, which is the top trim level, and the limited on the Pacifica. Now, engine wise, the real two differences here, well, not much actually. We have here on the left hand side, the Honda Odyssey has a 3.5 liter V6, whereas the Pacifica has a 3.6 liter V6. Again, whoops, V6. We're just keeping track of stats here. And as we fill up this board, we'll start to see a better picture. Again, both are front wheel drive. The Limited Pacifica only has a nine speed automatic transmission, whereas the Odyssey, we're going nine or 10. So it depends on what you're interested in. This might lead in your, your direction if you're interested in that. We're looking at 280 horsepower. 262 pound-feet of torque. Over here, very similar, 287, 262. So basically very, very close in terms of engines on both of these vehicles. Fuel economy, unfortunately, it is the same. Looking at uh, 19 city, 28 highway for a mixed driving number of 22. I'm just gonna put it right here because it represents both sides. Those are arrows and that is both sides. All right, this is gonna be a messy board. I'm telling you right that right now. Uh, here's one little factoid. We've got a 19.5 gallon fuel tank for the Honda and a 19 gallon fuel tank for the Pacifica. Not sure why, but at least you have a half tank of gas more with the Honda Odyssey. So maybe you can get a little bit further than you thought. Uh, this has seven or eight seats for passengers. This only has for seven seats. Again, read between the lines on what these numbers are. Curb weight for the Honda Odyssey, you're looking at 4593. That's how many pounds over here? 4330. So the Honda Odyssey, a little bit bigger vehicle, at least weighs a little more. And I don't know how this is different, but you can uh, tow 3,500 pounds with the Odyssey and 36 maximum with the Chrysler Pacifica. So something they've done there to make it a little bit more powerful could be that 3.6 versus a 3.5 liter. I don't know, you tell me. Also 287 horses versus 280. Maybe that's where you're able to get that extra 100 pounds. I'm not an engineer, so I'm not quite sure. Wheelbase, now we're gonna start to see some differences in numbers. Wheelbase, 121.6 inches, whereas the wheelbase of the Odyssey is 118.1. Length of the vehicles, nearly identical, 203.2 versus 203.6. These are all, these are all inch, inches here. Width-wise, 78.5 versus 79.6. Pretty darn close. Now again, we have, we're gonna use the um, eight seat configuration here, uh, but overall the vehicle is the same size. So passenger volume is pretty interesting. We're looking here at the passenger volume of 160.1 cubic feet. I'll put a little three right here, that means cubic feet. Passenger volume on the Pacifica. This is interesting, 165 cubic feet. So the Pacifica is actually bigger and you can only put seven seats in there versus the eight seats on the Odyssey. See how we're doing that? Now I just put this in here for fun just because I, I like ground clearance. Uh, I found this interesting, 5.1 inches versus 4.5. Cargo volume, this is a big factor for a lot of people. 
and we're going to start to see a real big spread on the cargo volume of the inside of both of these vehicles. So Odyssey, this is behind the third row. You're looking at 31.3. These are all cubic feet. 82.7 behind the second row. All seats folded down, 134.4. Over here, 32.3. 87.5 and 140.5. So the Pacifica is able to utilize more cargo space inside the vehicle. Of course, the wheelbase is a little bit longer. The vehicles are the same length, width just has an edge toward the Pacifica, and passenger volume is bigger, and also cargo roam is bigger when all three row seats are folded down. Just another fun fact 18 inches. For wheels here, 19. So no 19s available on the Pacifica. You're only able to get up to 18 inches. Price point, everyone wants to know this. It's basically, you're looking at 30,000 to 46,670 for the Odyssey. Over here, 27K to 45K basically. That's the range from the base to the top trim level. So really close in price point, give or take a couple of thousand dollars. Now, because the Pacifica is so new, we don't have any sales numbers on it, but I can tell you that US sales numbers for the Honda Odyssey through 2016, the best sales year that the Odyssey had was back in 2006. That's when they sold 178,000 units. Last or the, the last year they had recording in 2006 16, they had 120,000 units for the Honda Odyssey. So, again, let's soak this all in. What are you looking for in a vehicle? Fuel economy is a push, engines about a push 3.5 versus a 3.6, both front wheel drive, both three row minivans. Power about the same. A Honda is a little bit heavier, you know, almost like 300, well, 200, 250 pounds heavier. They can tow about the same. But then we start seeing a difference here in the wheelbase. Wheelbase a little longer here, length about the same, width about the same, give it an inch over to the Pacifica. And then passenger volume, you get five more cubic feet of passenger volume in the Pacifica versus the Odyssey. Does that matter to you? And then cargo, we really see a big difference there when you're looking at overall cargo of 134 to 140. So if you are looking for that as a family, for hauling, for storage, road trips, that might be the factor because you're not gonna see or feel much difference there with the 32 versus the 31. And then yeah, you're gonna start getting a little bit more, 82 versus 85. And then price point, pretty darn close as well. Uh, depends on rebates, those kind of things, trade-ins, who cares about trade-ins? So <laughs> you're looking at price point between 30 and 46, 27 and 45. Develop your own picture on what matters to you. Hopefully these numbers will help in your research process. Now go out there and do a test drive yourself. If you have a suggestion on what you'd like to see me do some number crunching on to help paint a story for you, leave it in the comment section below. Until we talk again, class is dismissed. Have a good one. Adios. How do you know you're getting the best deal on a new or used car? Call 844-765-0610. Make one phone call to hear about all the great deals near you. We know all the brands and all the best deals. We're not a dealer. We're here to help you find the right car. Call 844-765-0610 today.